So you're very well known in the, in the video game community. You're now mm. working on uh, two new social social games. Why did you choose social gaming as your new uh, domain? Well, you know, I feel like I've been a leader in you know each of the domains as they've evolved. You know, I was one of the very first ever developers of computer games when personal computers first emerged. Uh, then I created the very first ever massively multiplayer game. You know, right as the internet, uh, you know, was becoming popular. And so for me, uh, you know, social media gaming is the hotspot of gaming. It's uh, you know the market has now expanded yet again by a tenfold factor, and I want to make sure I'm on the forefront of the of the industry. Uh, well how do you think it's not just a fad, though, that it's, with the mention Zynga before, that they've come to the train? How, how do you think that there's room for other people? Well, there's no question that some of the individual games that are being shipped, these ultralight, pretty simple games, will be fads in the sense of they are... Uh, uh, you know, they're not, they have what I'll call the fair, they're fairly thin games without much legs. Um, however, uh, the, the people that are now playing games aren't going to go away. And the interesting thing about that is that, uh, you know, even Ultima Online, the very first ever massively multiplayer game, still has a very large audience 10 years later. Uh, you know, there's no online game that has had success that, that doesn't still have success. And I think the same thing is going to be true for these now nearly 100 million people who have moved into gaming who are playing, even though they don't describe themselves as gamers, they are playing, you know, 40 hours a week of gaming, which is a hardcore gamer. So, uh, uh, so th those people aren't going to go away. And in fact, their demand is already, their demand for sophistication is already slowly increasing. If you look at the copycat games that were out a year ago and contrast that with the games that are launched, you know, right now, uh, the Nate games now already look a lot better. They run a lot better. The game design is a lot better. Uh, and that's because the users are demanding it and, and are migrating to, to a higher and higher quality of content. Just now that the, the user base is 10 times bigger than it ever was. Our went. first original game will be coming out here in just a couple of months. It's called Ultimate Collector. Uh, interesting for me and our development team, you know, I, I am, you know, an ultimate collector in a sense. And, uh, you know, my, my home is actually filled with uh, dozens of individual collections, many of which are amongst the best collections of those items in the world. Things like magic history, automatons, scientific instruments, uh, you know, all kinds of, of things I personally collect as well. So, so I'm a good, uh, I'm sort of the target uh, uh, hardcore player for this particular game uh, as well as helping with its creation. Uh, and in fact, that game is already, even before launch, is already proving to be so powerful and so interesting that uh, we have a television producer uh, named uh, Cineflex, uh, who we're partnering with, who makes all, already has made a large number of uh, very popular reality-based TV shows, including American Pickers. Uh, they are, uh, in fact, it was just last week up in New York with them uh, pitching uh, this Ultimate Collector television series that we think we'll have on, uh, you know, on television at the same time as the game. Again, with me as one of the co-hosts of the show uh, to, you know, explore the world of collecting and introduce you to introduce players to uh, the personalities of these strange Ultimate Collectors around the world. But it won't, it won't have the game's characters or visuals in it. How, how does the show help sell the game? Uh, well, there actually will be a heavy overlap, you know, in the sense of uh, when you're doing a game about collecting, the things you collect are real-world things. Uh, you know, and if they're, uh, you know, shrunken heads, uh, for example, I, you know, literally my shrunken heads will be in the game. If we're talking about, uh, you know, Martha Stewart's uh, uh, things that she has uh, recommended on her TV show, you know, we'll partner with people, uh, you know, like a, we would, for example, Martha Stewart, I bring her up only because I've been on her show a number of times showing off my collections, and, uh, and she herself and the people who watch her show are also collectors, and so we're going to be looking for strategic partnerships with real-world entities for both the television show and for the items and collections we build in the game. So that's a great crossover between TV and games. Yes, the new well transmedia, you know, uh, yeah, buzzword uh, yeah. is uh, um, we're hopefully going to work for us. We're all about that. Yeah. What advice would you give to startups who don't have as much business experience as, as you do uh, in terms of uh, getting themselves noticed at events like this, uh, like uh, like uh, Mint TV or, or Medium? What's the, what's the best way to stand out if you don't have much of a track record? Well, I think that you know we're still in an industry where the uh, you know you need a you need a combination of not only a great idea. And I, mean, I think most people who have you know an idea for doing something believes they have a, the great idea, uh, but it also takes great execution. And that's where uh, people I think you know often underestimate uh, you know how to enter the enter the market. So 
But great execution, in my mind, means you know not only build a great team, but make sure you can pull off you know what your dream is uh, as far as being something that is unique. Once you have the right idea and the right team, you still then need the third part, which is how do you get distribution? And uh, you know, each of these market upheavals allows new players to come into existence. I mean, if we were still doing just MMOs, uh, Zynga would have never existed. Uh, it's that upheaval that allowed a new player to come in and become a truly major uh, force. But already, it's becoming very difficult to uh, step in as a new idea or a new product or a new uh, property and, and, uh, and compete with uh, the rapidly maturing what are called distribution in this next phase. So, uh, so if you're a young startup, you know, get your great idea, get your great team that you know you can execute with, but then you're probably going to have to partner uh, with a, a great distributor as well. Great. Thank you very much. Very welcome.